The Center for Technology Infusion is a tier one research and innovation center of La Trobe University. The smart sensor technology, the concept is really simple. It's very similar to uh, the wearable technology that we call Fitbits or smart watches. When we apply this smart technology to animals, it can tell a lot about what the animal is doing, how much it is eating, how it is grazing, resting, ruminating. All of this information is really powerful for a farmer to use. Combined with smart data analytics, it is able to use that data and provide smart intelligent insights. We're currently running about a thousand hectares and milking about 1,800 milking cows across three dairy farms, which keeps us out of trouble most days. Traditionally, it's just been sheer fact of being with the cows every day. You get to know their habits. That is becoming more difficult though. Smart sensor technology would allow us to be more efficient in terms of being able to individually manage cows more effectively. We'd be collecting data that we just don't have at the moment. Before these sensors came along, the data we could collect was, was pretty much static. It was a, a weight gain on a day or an observation at a particular time. It wasn't a flowing picture of what the animals were doing. As a farmer, I haven't got the expertise to analyse the data and that's been the beauty of, of this project. What I've liked most about the collaboration with, with La Trobe is, is their passion to try and help solve industry problems and embedding in this case genuine technology, you know, something new that hasn't been used in the, in the circumstance of on a sheep farm to help us with our, our everyday decisions. The Centre for Technology Infusion have been able to help us to try and solve problems that we've got. La Trobe can't do the project unless they've got access to a working farm where uh, the animals can go about their business as they normally would, which gives the research um, credibility because farmers like to know where the answers are coming from. It's really, really important the work they're doing and just having the knowledge of what the animals are doing out in the paddock is vital to, to improving productivity and efficiency. I think this will be a step change in the industry. Until now, people have had to visually observe to understand animal behaviour. The applications will be a lot more than what we currently are trying to address, that is really improve performance values. We've had incredible response from the farmers where they have been very open in terms of discussing exactly the problems that they want to be addressed, problems that they want us to find answers to or even find where the problems are in the first place. Now we are seeking commercial partners to work with us for the next stage of development to help us bring this product to market for broader application in farming systems in Australia. There will be 9.2 billion people on the earth by 2050 and we have to feed them. Agribusiness represents about 7% of the Australia's GDP. Companies like Murduguk Agriculture have seen an opportunity to engage smart people, sensors and intellectual property to get more out of the land.